Okay, so today we're going to work on a four-point saddle. Okay, four-point saddle is basically nothing more than two offsets going over an obstruction. Again, here's our obstruction. First thing we have to do when we measure our pipe, we have to find the middle. We're going to find the middle, then we're going to measure out our distance. That's going to give us both mark number one and number three. I'll explain why mark number one and number three is that way. Once you do that and you have your center, just like an offset, your A mark can be anywhere you want it to be. Your B mark is our multiplier times our height of our obstruction. So today we're going to do, we got a six inch height, 10 inches wide that we're going over. We're going to make it like we're going over a box. So we're going to start out measuring the middle. We're going to measure five on each side. Then what we'll do is we'll come and we'll measure out bend number one to bend number two. So that will be 30 degree bends, six inches, six times two is 12. So we'll make our mark from bend one to bend two will be 12 inches. The same is also for bend three to bend four. Always remember, use 30 degree. You can use 45 degree, but they're a little bit tighter. Always remember, we want to make the wire slide through the pipe with very little resistance. 30 degrees actually works out the best. Now that we have our piece of conduit, I've already determined my, my middle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure my 10 inches and make mark number one and mark number three. This is going to be my distance. Now, we are doing a six inch rise, so we're going to go 12 inches and we're going to make our mark at 12 inches from mark one and 12 inches from mark three. Okay, just like, just like when we did our offset, we are going to actually circle all these out because we're going to be rotating this pipe quite a few times. So we want to make sure that we have it in check. Now that we have the pipe, we use the bender. Same thing. Bender, we're going to use the arrow. We're going to use the 30 degree mark. It's exactly the same way as an offset. And if you haven't, if you haven't gone through and been an offset yet, you should go back and check the video that we also have posted. Okay? We're going to start with bend number one. So if I look at my conduit, I have four marks. Bend number one will go in the bender like this. And we will bend it to 30 degrees. Again, like I said, always keep the bend in front of you when you're bending saddles. Slide it forward, flip it around, 180 degrees, line it up again. Another thing we don't want is what? A dog leg? We're going to bend this down to 30 degrees. When you're done, you take it out, flip it around, putting mark number three, because this is our third bend, we bent bend number one, then we bend bend number two, take the pipe out of the bender, now we're bending bend number three. Line up bend number three, line up the conduit. bend it down to 30 degrees. Again, we keep the bend in front of us. We flip it around and line it up. We bend it down to 30 degrees. Okay. When checking for a dog leg, you want to hold it in front of you with the bend going down and line up the ends. You will have to tweak it. 
There is no other way around it. You'll have to tweak it. So we have a six inch obstruction that's 10 inches wide. We have our 10 inches. We have our six inches of rise. 